All right, ladies, we're going to do a little bit of a shift here, and we're going to talk about Inquirer. So like I mentioned in my last video, all good NPM packages have some code examples. This is no exception. However, I feel like the code examples here are a little bit um, lacking um, for my personal preference. However, they do have this spot here that says examples, run it in C. And they say to check out these code examples, which I have open over here. And so what I did is I cloned Inquirer and I've opened up this example folder in my terminal and we're going to run this Pizza.js. This has a lot of our different types and if this one doesn't have everything that we want, like I know that it's missing editor and checkbox and I think one other one um, if we look at this password. So we can run these examples. So let's do that. So I'm going to do, I'm in the examples folder, which you can see up here, and I'm going to node pizza. So is this for delivery? Yes. What's my phone number? I'm going to put in a phone number. So this clearly has, if we look over here, this has some um, value checker to make sure that it's a valid phone number. So what size pizza do I want? I want a large pizza. And I need three large pizzas because I have a lot of people coming over. And what about these toppings? Hmm, I don't know what P-A-W-H means, so let's just hit enter. Okay, so hitting enter expands it. So I would like um, all dressed up. Oh, I get a free beverage? Great, so let's take some 7-Up. And do I want any comments on my purchasing experience. Thank you. Oh, I left a comment so I get a freebie. All right, well, I'll take some cake. And here's my order receipt. I'm having it delivered. Here's my phone number. I need three large pizzas that are all dressed up. I want 7-Up as a beverage. I had a thank you comment, and because of that, I got a prize that was cake. So let's look over at the questions to the right here. So our confirm was our delivery. Our phone number type was an input. We had a list for small, medium, and large. We have an input here that was the number that we needed. Our expand is what I got the PAW option for. And then um, by hitting enter, it gave me the names and the keys were what I was clicking or what I was um, picking to choose. All dressed up was A. So raw list was the Pepsi 7-Up and Coke. Honestly, I'm sure there is a difference in between that and list, but I didn't notice. Maybe you ladies did. Um, so our input comments. So a minute hit this and you can see it has this win function. So if answers, which is what we see at the very end here, these are answers. So if answers dot comments is not nope all good. Um, which is their default, I believe, um, then it lets us see this prize option. Yes, so the default here is nope all good. So if it's not that, then it brings up this prize option. So let's run through that again one more time. And let's take a look to see if we see any difference between the free beverage 
and the size of the pizza. So let's run this again. Is this for delivery? No. What's my phone number? I want a medium pizza. And I need one. How about toppings? Um, so if I just put in P, it tells me it's pepperoni. A, if I hit enter here, that's when it expands. So, okay. So raw list is giving us a numbered answer here that we can put in the answer to. Um, whereas with the just list, we were getting an arrow that we had to select. So raw list, you input your answer. Just list, it only lets you shift between those three. Any comments? Nope, all good. And then it didn't hit the prize. So if you're wanting to only show things at a certain point, that win might be the best way to go. So we were missing a couple of things from here. So we didn't see the checkbox or the editor or was there one other one? Password. Okay. So let's go to our node password. Please enter a password. Password. Very uh, strong password there. Okay, so it needs to have at least a letter and a number. Password one. Password one. All right, so you can see this is the difference between hidden and masked. And if we come over here to password, I'm sure we'll see. Um, the default is hidden and then you can add the masked option that will put it in stars. That's how this one's written. I'm sure you could change this to a different character. Let's check our editor. So let's come back to iTerm and let's, instead of password, let's do editor. Let's write, um, press enter to launch your preferred editor. Oh my, okay. All right, so this is great, except that the only way I know to quit colon, enter, hmm, okay. This is great, except that I don't know how to get out of this. Um, I think colon Q, how do I, Oh, Vim. Okay. So this is Vim. Um, we will talk about this in class at some point. Uh, but right now, I'm going to say maybe don't play with editor because most people don't know how to get out of it. So let's, let's skip that one. Is it? Now I'm just irritated and I want to be able to get out of it. Okay. I'm just closing this because I don't want to mess something up. So maybe let's avoid editor. And so we did password. The last one is that we haven't seen is checkbox. So let's node checkbox. Okay. Select a topping, press space to select, A to toggle all, I to invert selections. Okay. So the usual, we've got cheeses, we've got other stuff. Um, what was it? Space to select, A to toggle. So A turns them all on and off. I inverts the selection, so if I had selected cheddar but I actually wanted mozzarella and parmesan, I would invert it. 
And so I want a mozzarella cheddar tomato pineapple. Don't fight me. Um, I'll skip some meat. Let's just throw. I feel like mushrooms would be yucky, but sure. Sure. Let's no, let's not do that. Okay. So now if I hit enter, I have a mozzarella cheddar tomato pineapple extra cheese pizza. So that is how checkbox works. Um, and if we come here, we can see how they have had um, various separators in here that we saw. So we can run this checkbox again, and we're seeing these separators of the meats, the cheeses, the usuals, and the extras. Um, and that's how this is working. So... This one, we, we just wanted a cheese pizza. Simple and easy. So that's the very like quick breakdown of how we can figure out what's going on with Inquirer and um, the options there. So in the next video, we're going to take that and we're going to add it to our SQL connection that we were working on earlier.